Okay. Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kelly. And if you're a returning subscriber, then welcome back. I'm sure you guys can tell by the title of the video that I'm going to be reviewing the Curl Smith products. I'm so excited to be reviewing these products. Y'all know already that I got these products on sale at Ulta. Some of the products were 50% off and then some of them I did pay full price for. I think during the sale they were running the stylers, well select stylers were on sale. So I caught the stylers and then got like the wash day products as well because I don't like to try to use the styling products without the wash day products. So I got all of them. So I have a lot of products to get through today. So let's jump right into the review. Y'all already know how I do. I wash my hair off camera and then I come back and style my hair with the products that I have. But I just want to get into these wash day products first and let y'all know what I thought about these wash day products. So first, and by the way, these products, it was so weird because first of all, they're all named like really let's just say different they're named differently they're not like conditioner shampoo um leave-in gel whatever like you know th the normal names for the products that we use every day or every other day they're not like that so i had to really read these labels and figure out what exactly each product does so let's just start with the co-wash so for curl smith's co-wash it is called the curl quenching conditioning wash not co-wash it's called conditioning wash which i thought was very interesting it looks like this and it's also a pretty nice size bottle. So y'all know I can appreciate my nice sizes. Like the products are kind of on the expensive side, but I'm about to tell you why in a few seconds. So let's talk about what exactly the conditioning wash is supposed to do. And I'll tell you what it did for my hair. So the cleansing conditioner is for all hair types. It is supposed to moisturize, um, Make sure you're anti-frizz, keep shining your hair, and you're supposed to be able to detangle with this conditioning wash, which that's a big claim because I, I mm, let me tell y'all, let me tell y'all, I don't have many shampoos that I can, and not that this is a shampoo, it's a conditioning wash, but I don't have many cleansers or co-washes in general that I can detangle my hair with. So for me, that was a huge claim. Also, another thing, this product is made, well, all of the Curl Smith products are made with a lot, a lot of natural ingredients. So just a few of their hand-picked ingredients that they mentioned on the bottle. Mashed shea butter, resurrection flour, what that is, I don't know, don't ask. Crushed coconut, rare indiroba, not sure what that is either. Mashed avocado, torn sage and basil, and black pepper oil. So those are just a few of the ingredients. And this product is vegan. So for all my vegan people out there, this one's for you. Next, their products promise. Their promise is that all of our products are naturally curl friendly and gentle enough for daily use. So if you love to wash your hair every day, you can use this product every single day. Okay, and then let's get into what's not in this bottle. So what's not in these products are sulfates, parabens, silicones, mineral oils, another word I can't pronounce, and another word I can't pronounce. So that is good. So if you if you watch other natural hair people, they'll tell you like things that are not good for your hair. The main ones that I'm gonna let you know right now are the sulfates, parabens, and silicones. Stay away. like. I ain't gonna lie, I use products with some of those things, but if you want to be completely like natural and take really good, really good care of your hair, don't use those products. Don't be like me. <laughs> okay, so let me tell you what I thought about this product. I thought this product was really good overall, and let me tell you why. So this is a conditioning wash, which makes me think there are some, there are some, there's something in this bottle that is going to condition my hair. And if it's going to condition my hair, I should be able to detangle with this product right here. So of course, being me, after I finished rinsing the conditioning wash out of my hair, I decided to try to run my wire tooth comb through my hair. So 
that was a really good experience. I Okay, so the only really co-wash that I've used is the As I Am Coconut um, Co-wash. I know that's like a goodie, but an oldie. Um, I really, mm, I really can't get my wide tooth comb through my hair with that product. But with this one, I got my wide tooth comb through my product before I deep conditioned. And that is really good. I'm just saying. So next, let's move on to the deep conditioner, which you know, of course, it's not just called a deep conditioner with Curl Smith. So this deep conditioner by Curl Smith is called the Double Cream Deep Quencher. I had to buy this product just because of what it's called. I absolutely had to purchase it because I love a thick deep conditioner. I know that my hair is going to be moisturized and I know that I'm going to be able to detangle and comb my hair with a deep conditioner that's thick. And I'm going to be honest, it's thick. Y'all see that? Y'all see this product? It's super thick and I loved it. Like my hair felt so good after deep conditioning with this product right here. And Y'all, okay, so this is gonna be super weird when I tell you this, but these products low key smell like sweet tarts. That might not be like the best description, but that's what came like in the top of my head when I was doing my hair in the shower or whatever. I was like, this smells so good. And it's like, for me, usually when I think of natural products, I'm like, uh, they probably gonna smell natural. I mean, that's just like, you can't, you can't always make natural products smell good, but these products smell really, really good. And I can't wait to deep conditioning with this again. And pause, let me just mention that before having my wash day with these products, <clears throat> don't judge me, but I hadn't done my hair in like two weeks. I was sporting like a real raggedy bun and my hair was extremely dry. So if these products didn't work, I kind of would have been like, okay, I ain't been taking care of my hair in like two weeks. So it might be my fault, but the fact that these products brought my hair back to life, what'd that tell you? So yeah you guys this deep conditioner a1 like and there's only a few deep conditioners that i really really like banged with this a new one okay you guys so i am done talking about the wash day products for now um they I, they had me a little shook so i'm excited for these styling products that i'm about to try for the first time and I just hope that, you know, they give me the same results that the other products did. But yes, yeah, so I'm going to take my hair out of my microfiber towel. Um, this is a cute towel, by the way. I got this from Kitsch, I think it's called. But yeah, my hair is probably not as wet as it was before. So I'm about to just take my hair down and re-wet it before I start applying these products. Okay, so before I start styling my hair, I just want to talk about the rest of the products that I purchased for today's video. So I'm looking at my Ulta order right now and I purchased a Moisture Memory Reactivator, an Intense Treatment Serum. I purchased a Curl Defining Styling Souffle and a Hold Me Softly Style Balm. And then lastly, I purchased a curl conditioning oil and cream. So, like I said, y'all, these products are named completely different than what I'm used to. I'm used to leave-in, souffle, um, I'm used to gel, I'm used to um, custard, but these names are just out there. And I'm used to like a refreshing spray. But okay, so let's just talk about this first product. So here in my hand, I have the Intense Treatment Serum and it looks like this. So this treatment is for extra thirsty, curly or kinky hair. And y'all know, y'all already know, <laughs> this me. 
So this treatment is supposed to provide some ultra hydration, elasticity, and, and it claims to have damage protection. So I just wanna read about how I'm supposed to be using this on my hair. It says how to feed your curls. Use on dry or damp hair. Rub the product between your palms until it melts into an oil. Distribute evenly through the hair, focusing on dry ends. Air dry or use a diffuser, leave it in. And for overly damaged hair, wrap in cling film, blah, 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 blah. I'm not using it overnight. I'm going to leave this treatment in my hair because I'm about to get a silk press pretty soon here. So I just wanna make sure that my hair is in a good condition before I add any type of heat and extra color to my hair. So the product is looking like this and it is, it's like coconut oil. It's like an oil cause it's like set in stone. Like I said on the directions, it melts into your hands. So I'm about to see. Yeah, kind of smells like shea butter, but I'm just gonna put a generous amount into my hair. So I melted it into my hands. This is what we're working with. And I'm just really trying to focus this on my ends. Even though I'm sure I'm gonna get a trim, but still. The back of my hair is always the driest. So I'm also really trying to focus on the back of my hair as well. All right, you guys, so the next product that I'm going to be using is the curl conditioning oil and cream and basically this is going to be acting as my leave-in conditioner so this is a leave-in cream for curly or coily hair and it is supposed to moisture nourish and provide shine okay so just a little bit on the directions it says to divide wet hair into sections and smooth through do not rinse out style as desired and excellent for um wash and goes is probably the lock method braids twist out so apparently i can use this for multiple styles of wash and go um twist out braid out all those good things so let's open this bad boy up okay y'all i'm really excited because look at this this is thick like this is the type of product that i need for my hair hopefully i might be speaking too soon but it looks super thick and i love that about a product so let's just go ahead and try it out This feels really good on my hair. My fingers are gliding through. It's always a good sign for me. My dimming brush is also gliding through my hair. And that's not possible with all of my products. <laughs> So I've decided that I'm going to use um, three products. I'm gonna use the leave-in conditioner, which you guys saw me put in my hair. I'm going to apply just a little, just a little of the Style Bomb. And then I'm going to follow up with the Souffle. So right now I'm just going to take for this section, for this section, just a little bit of the Style Bomb. And it is, lightweight um the hold is very soft so i figured that it would be okay to add this and it smells really good too so now i'm just gonna take the souffle and add it to this piece of hair right here oh and it is 
You guys see that? It's very jelly-like. That's what it's looking like. You guys so this is what my curls are looking like with those three products all right you guys so i'm going to do the rest of my hair off camera and then i will be back with my final thoughts i've put all the product in my hair and it is soaking in right now so i am going to air dry probably for about 10 to 15 minutes and then i'm going to use my diffuser on the rest to get it dry so i can get you guys my final thoughts and you guys can see the results i am back and i didn't diffuse my hair um basically what ended up happening is i ended up air drying for like five hours it's like five o'clock i was recording at like 12 or finishing my hair around 12 ish but um yeah life happened so i didn't get to diffuse my hair but i did air dry and my hair is probably like I'll say about 80% dry so this is what it's looking like these are the curls all right so now I'm just gonna give you guys my final thoughts on these products so first of all my least favorite product i'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into it my least favorite product from the curlsmith line is probably gonna have to be the souffle and let me tell y'all why so i really wasn't feeling the souffle because it's the consistency for me so like it would it's gel like it's jelly but it's like that consistency that breaks apart so it's not like when you pick up eco in your hand it it don't move when you pick up this souffle in your hand it's crumbling it's falling down your hand and personally i just don't like that that's that's enough for me i'm gonna use it you know uh, obviously i'm not gonna waste any product i'm gonna use it up but i'm not gonna purchase it again but i will say i love 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 the rest of the products like i can't even well let me see if i just had to pinpoint one it would probably have to be the deep conditioner and that's because i just love deep conditioning my hair and i love the results like how my hair feels after i have deep condition a close runner up is definitely going to have to be that oil that whatever it's called something like curl oil cream something whatever it was it was the leave-in basically but i really did like that product so overall i'm gonna have to give curl smith a nine on a scale of one to ten because i don't know they did they thing and on top of that they're vegan products and there's no paraben sulfates etc etc all that bad gunky stuff that's in your you know your old hair products you know the ones that when we weren't taking care of our hair we were kind of using so that is a plus and i love that now the only other product that i didn't get to try was the moisture memory reactivator and it's this product right here basically what i think this product is is just like a refresher it says memory reactivator so i'm pretty sure this is to refresh my curls and i might try this maybe in a few days one or two days probably maybe even tomorrow who knows my hair's not dry right now so i don't want to put this on my curls um but yeah so this is a product that's also an option and they also have so you see how like this product has this orange strip they also have products with blue strips so i'm gonna need y'all to let me know if i need to try out the products with the blue strip as well okay y'all comment under this video and let me know if y'all want me to try the products with the blue strips also all right you guys so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you guys like comment and subscribe i'll catch you guys in the next video